Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time for another recipe and it's another soup from the Slimming World book of soups. I really really love that book and I have discovered that quite a few of them are not actually on the website so if you can buy that book then it will probably be worth your while. So I'm going to make the roasted yellow pepper soup. Um, I'm going to make it the cheats way um, but I will explain how you can make it if you want to using the long way. Um, what you need is some, these are grilled red and yellow peppers and I found these in Iceland. So it says you need six large yellow peppers halved and de-seeded. Obviously I'm going to use red and yellow. Um, 10 ripe plum tomatoes, halved, I shall do that in a moment. So we've got peppers and tomatoes, 6 garlic cloves, I've got some frozen chopped garlic to use up, uh, 2 tablespoons light soy sauce, roughly chopped basil, I haven't got basil so I'm just going to use mixed herbs, and then it says salt and pepper. I'll find the salt in a minute and I'm also going to throw some paprika in as well. So basically what it asks you to do is roast the peppers and the tomatoes and then add the garlic. So if you want to do that, you can roast the peppers for 15 minutes, add the, add the tomatoes and the garlic cloves and roast for a further 30 minutes and then skin the peppers and add them to your soup maker. But I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to use my frozen peppers. If you can hear that, that's Andrew dying a death because he's got a coldy flu type illness. And I'm just going to throw my tomatoes. I'm just going to throw my tomatoes and peppers straight in the soup maker. So it's up to you what you want to do. But I'm just going to cheat because I don't have a lot of time. I've got a lot to do today. Right, so I have my soup maker here, which is the Morphe Richards soup maker. I've got about roughly the equivalent of six peppers here. I'm going to shove them straight in. So I've got red and, red and yellow peppers from the pack of Iceland going in. Then I've got 10 plum tomatoes, just halved. Stick those in. You're a bit low there, aren't you? So peppers and tomatoes. And then we want, I think we want some soy sauce next. Two tablespoons of light soy sauce. We'll get that put in. There we go, so that's that. And then the garlic, I'm just going to use the frozen garlic. So it says six cloves of garlic. So I'm going to put, there's about three cloves worth there. I'm maybe not going to put too much more in because I don't want it to be overpowering. So I'll just put one one more garlic in and these frozen garlics you just need to check that it says 100% garlic like that and they will be free on the plan and I managed to find these this one is from Tesco and this one is from Morrison's and I've heard that Aldi do it as well so they should be relatively easy to get hold of. 
So I'm going to put a bit of salt in, a bit of pepper. Remember this is to serve four, so I put plenty of seasoning in. And then I'm going to put some mixed herbs in as if I was putting basil in. Give that a shake and I'm going to put a shake of paprika in as well. And then it says add 300 ml of hot water. So I'm just going to That's probably more than 300 ml, but that's to the max line. So I'll give it a stir. And I think what I might do as well to help it thicken. I'm going to add one of these no vegetable stock pots. These ones are free on the plan. You can just stick it in like that and it will do the work for you. So that's what it looks like in the soup maker. This is a bit of a experiment so it'll be very interesting to see how this turns out stick your lid on alternatively of course you can do it in a pan then mode we want smooth on and i will see you in 20 minutes and this is the a roasted pepper soup after 20 minutes in the soup maker it is a little watery um, so I think I'll either not add as much water or add a potato the next time but I'm going to uh, serve it out and see how many portions I get out but it does taste really tasty and here's my four portions of soup it is the thinner kind of soup, so if you do like that quant that texture of soup, then this is the one for you. I am glad I added that vegetable um, stock pot because I can taste it, it's giving it a flavour. But yeah, I'm pleased with that and it will give me four good meals that are completely free on the plan. So there we go, roasted pepper soup with tomatoes and garlic and the garlic isn't that overpowering although i didn't put six cloves in put a bit less than that in so yeah and that was out of the slimming world book of soups and i think if you did do the roasting part properly in the oven it would give it a deeper flavor and it may make it a little thicker as well anyway that is my roasted pepper soup thank you for watching